Hey, welcome to another video of vintage TV and radio stuff. Today we're going back to the 70s and uh, General Electric's uh, two Wake Times AM FM clock radio, the model 7-4816B, for those of you scoring at home. Uh, like I said, made back in the 70s with that groovy uh, wood grain finish. As you would uh, figure from the name of the uh, clock, it has two wake times. You can have wake one and wake two here. Uh, there is a uh, AM FM radio on it, snooze button, and uh, I'm going to show you around the front and sides a little bit. We'll plug it in and see if it works. Okay, let's begin on the front part. Uh, of course, you've got your, your display right there, which I will uh, show you when I plug it in. Uh, but you've got your uh, reverse and forward and fast forward uh, buttons. That's for uh, setting the alarm clock and setting the time. There's the sleep button, which I believe uh, begins at 60 minutes and goes down to like one minute. You can set that and uh, it'll turn off your radio uh, as you fall asleep. Settings for both wake one and wake two are right next door here. You can have it off, you could have it set for music or the alarm. And then on the far right there is the uh, switch for setting the alarms. And then off to the far right there is an on and off button for the radio. And you have your AM FM tuning bands right there. Not much to show on the top except the fact that I paid two dollars for it at Goodwill. <laughs> and there is a snooze button. Back in the day people spelled snooze with a Z as you can see. Plus I believe it was also a uh, cigarette holder for a, <laughs> at least one shot with the previous owner of this particular uh, clock radio. Here on the right side you have your AM FM uh, band selector and the tuning knob plus the volume control. I don't know if you can see this from uh, this particular angle but whatever happened to this I don't know. This was supposed to be a little more of a of a ridge right here so you could put your finger on it and turn it to control the volume but it's worn down over the last few years <laughs> of use or someone just put a lighter up to it and melted part of it I don't know that's uh, the interesting condition this particular radio is in considering it also has a cigarette burn on the top here's where you can uh, actually set the time itself uh, you put it on set, obviously, to set it, and then once you've set it, you lock it up. Here's the back of the radio with nothing to report here. And here's the bottom of the radio. Shows you it's made in Malaysia. And that's where GE made a lot of stuff back in the 70s, I'm guessing. Plus there's a battery backup. Let me take the battery cover off here. Still an original Duracell, or at least a uh, an older Duracell. And if you can read that, it's, it's good till uh, December of 2018. Okay, so it's plugged in now. And uh, as has been the case with a lot of uh, clock radios with displays like this, you're going to be seeing the, uh, the digits come and go uh, based on, I think, some sort of lack of synchronization in terms of the, uh, the camera and the uh, particular uh, radio itself. So it'll, it'll fade in and out, but from where I'm standing, the 12 is flashing loud and proud there, and it's not fading out. So let's go ahead and put this on set. And I'm going to go forward very slowly here, or fast forward, that makes more sense. Let's just, for the fun of it, set this thing for 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. Let's do 5 a.m. and we'll lock it there. Uh, we'll set one of our alarms. Well, I'll, I'll do that later actually. I'm going to try something, but let's turn it on. And there's your tuner. The volume control, like I said, is kind of broken. That's the knob, so I'm going to have to use, it, use my fingertips to move it back and forth. So let's just see what we can get on the FM band here, if anything. Well, I can get some stuff here. 
one of the more local stations. Where is your local station? Okay, so that's not bad. Uh, I'm sure it would be better if we're upstairs and without lights shining on it. Uh, let's flip it to AM. I don't think as much of an angle. And he's a true center. Oh, look at that. In other words, they're <laughs> ended up right where the uh, the AM yeah, station I is here. That this would be a learning process for NBA. Harold. Yeah, we'll get anything else. Okay, so let's just turn this off. Uh, there's that sleep button, like I showed you earlier. I can set it to go down to, let's make it two minutes here and see if we can see if it shuts off here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay. And we'll see if it shuts off after a while. Let's set uh, one of our alarms here for. Um, that's right, I have to unlock this, don't I? Five oh five. Okay, that's set. Yeah, okay. Set the other one here for five oh five. There we go. Put one on music, one alarm. Now, this should shut off pretty soon, I'm thinking. Let's put it on something we can hear here. I see one thing is interesting here. Wake 1 is not on. Wake 2 is on. So, I don't know. Maybe you can't, you can't use more than one at a time. Oh, I see. So, I put this one on. This, oh, now it works, okay. But if I do this on alarm, it shuts it off. Oh, I get it now. So you can't set the alarm for the same time and the same, or different functions. So I put this on alarm. Oh, now, yeah, that goes off. Yeah, see, that's how that logic works inside this uh, unit. So that's the way that goes, okay. Meanwhile, is this a sleep thing working yet? Uh, I don't know, that may have shut itself off or when I was playing with the alarms. Okay, well, let's uh, turn this off. This is on, uh, let's set it on alarm and see what it sounds like on the alarm. There we go. Snooze! Snooze! I want a snooze! Okay. <laughs> Guess you have to hit that snooze button just right. I'm assuming that got slammed quite a bit by the person. Then he you know, started smoking a cigarette and put the cigarette on the edge here. That was his favorite place to put the cigarette, right here. Okay, well that worked, I guess. So this thing does, I guess, work in every way it's supposed to work. The radio itself, not so hot. Uh, tuning is not so great, but I, I'm assuming the antenna is the cord here, so if we played with that a little bit, it might sound better. Anywho, this is a uh, General Electric Model 7-4816B, two wake times, AM, FM clock radio. As you can see, it cost me a couple of bucks at Goodwill. That's our video for today. If you have any comments, leave them below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more videos of vintage TV and radio stuff down the road. Thanks for watching.